All right, if you're seeing a U0401 code, that means one control module in your vehicle got bad or corrupted data from the engine control module, ECM, or powertrain control module, PCM. Basically, one module is saying, hey, I don't understand the info I just got from the ECM. Let's break that down. Modern vehicles run on a complex network of control modules, engine, transmission, ABS, body, steering, and more. These modules constantly talk to each other over something called a CAN bus, the vehicle's internal communication network. The ECM, or PCM, is like the brain of the engine. It gathers data from sensors, makes decisions about fuel, timing, and emissions, and sends info to other modules that rely on that data. Like the transmission control module, TCM, ABS module, or even the instrument cluster. If the data the ECM sends out is incomplete, delayed, or corrupted, whether from electrical noise, faulty wiring, or a failing module, another module may flag a U0401 code saying that the ECM gave it data it can't use. What causes U00401? Here are the most common reasons, with what to check. Corroded or damaged wiring or connectors on the CAN bus, especially between the ECM and other modules. Look for frayed wires, loose pins, or water intrusion near harnesses. Failing ECM slash PCM, not super common, but if the ECM itself is glitching or sending out bad data, multiple modules may log communication errors. If you're getting other U codes in addition to U0401, it's worth considering. Low battery voltage or weak ground connections. Inconsistent voltage can cause modules to miscommunicate or boot up improperly. Check battery health and ground straps, especially after a recent battery change or jump start. Aftermarket tuners or reprogramming, modified engine software or custom tunes can sometimes send unexpected data formats the other modules don't understand. If the vehicle was recently tuned or flashed, this might be the issue. Faulty control module receiving the data, for example, the ABS or TCM, might be logging the U0401 because it can't interpret what the ECM is saying, not because the ECM is actually bad. Use a scan tool to see which module is storing the U0401 code. Can network voltage issues. Normal CAN bus voltage should hover around 2.5 volts. If there's a short to power, ground or a noisy circuit, communication can break down. Use an oscilloscope or advanced scan tool to check CAN bus activity if you're equipped. What you can do, scan all modules, see which ones are logging U0401 and whether other U codes like U0100 or U0073 are also showing up. Visually inspect wiring and grounds around the ECM, battery, fuse box and any control modules related to the error. Check battery voltage with a multimeter, both static and while cranking. Voltage drops can trigger these errors. If possible, reflash or update the ECM software using the OEM scan tool. Corrupted software can sometimes be fixed without replacing the module. Note, this code shows up frequently in some GM, Ford, Chrysler and Toyota vehicles, especially after battery replacements, jump starts, or when corrosion is present in the fuse box or ground points. Bottom line, U0401 means a module got data it didn't like from the ECM. That could be due to wiring issues, a voltage problem, corrupted software, or an ECM that's just starting to fail. Start by scanning everything, checking grounds, and ruling out simple power problems before diving into module replacement. That's it for this one. Catch you in the next.